can tell me if this if you agree with this statement okay um, it is considered vulgar to boast about personal successes or achievements of um, of close family members to people who you don't know well well you know my what? brother <laughs> won the olympics all of it no but he I, won the whole olympics I, all of them ever since they started no you can't that's a that's a mixed bag because there are times and places you know what i mean i mean say if you're really proud of your family and, and you want to you know yeah because you know you get like i remember in school you you'd get that like, them boys say yeah my granddad was in world war ii oh, the big lies like the boy who said his uncle was eddie murphy yeah i remember i, I I'm not going to mention his name. I actually well, remember it, but um, <laughs> I think he, I think we all had someone like that in our school yeah. at one point. Yeah, it's, it's funny. My cousin, you know. Yeah, and I tell me that. That's it. Because that we're does never going to increase your fame that. by anything. Yeah, yeah. You're never going to. He's never going to come here. You're never going to be able to prove this, are you? So why why yeah. continue? But especially to people you don't really know well. Well, yeah, I suppose you don't walk up to people, random people at the bus stop, and say, "Yeah, oh, yeah, my uncle's Jeff Capes or something." I mean, that's be pointless because he isn't. Um, well, they probably know that by looking at me, but the chances are they don't know. Hey, who are you to judge? Or maybe just walk off quickly before they can even say anything. But, excuse <laughs> me, no, no, you know he's Jeff Capes, bye. And then you know, I'll tell you, you one you're that, the winner. I'll tell you one that you might um, identify with is queuing. I find this is a problem for me. Queuing, right. um, I just think people in this country just well, have no. You sense. know what? Funny you should say queuing. I will tell you a story that happened to me a couple of weeks ago. Right, I was in this shop. And I was waiting to, you know, pay for my purchase and everything. It was a queue. It was only about me and probably two more people. And then all of a sudden, this guy um, rushes in. He goes, he's holding, like, his, his gas card, his, his electric key, whatever he needs to charge. He goes, oh, can I just jump in front of you? I'm, I'm really, you know, in a hurry. I've got no gas. And I thought, oh, okay, I'll do this, this chap a favour. I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. He jumped in there and he, he you know, paid his money, charged his, his device and whatever. And then he, he ran out of the shop. And I thought, ah, oh, fair enough. If you get anything more of it. Pay for my purchase, came outside. So the same guy leaned up against a lamppost. <laughs> was he alive? He was, yeah, he was there just chilling. He wasn't even, I mean, it was like, so, hey. so he, he was in he a hurry. Made, he was in a hurry. Oh, God, Charles, up my gas. Yeah, and I thought, oh, you poor Turkey's fella. Still he's cooking. probably, yeah, he's got like kids in the dark crying because there's no lights and he's, you know what I mean? And they're cold. And they're cold. There's no gas. He's doing the best he can. He's yeah, rushing. He's you know what I mean? It's summer. Hard time, but, but anyway. all right, hard times at him. He's, he's trying to do the best. And then I come outside and he's just leaned up against the lamppost, just chilling. It's like, Wait a minute. What, so what do you say to him? Well, this is a social convention, Mark. What do you say? Is it, is it enough to make a big deal out of? Or, or do, am no, I going to overstate it? You see what really. I'm saying? But the thing is, he knew it. And it was just like a little air of smugness about himself. You like, know what I don't yeah. like? I what mean, that is a, a... It's taking the liberty. Yeah, it is taking the liberty. I think I don't I think, like... I think the biggest step of the face is that he didn't even bother hide. If, if I was going to do something, like, I'd just make sure that the person don't see me when they come to show. No, but he's, he, he didn't care. <laughs> He wanted he's me got to one see. over on you. Yeah, no, I'm gonna he, he wanted me to know he got one over. Yeah, me. but he knows that it's too small a deal for you to make up well, a big deal. Out. This is the thing, and I, I mean, as us as British people, you know, brought up in British culture, we're, we're brought up not to make a fuss about little things. Mustn't grumble. Mustn't grumble. Stiff upper lip and all that. You know what I don't like? Yeah, I mean, it's my own little private hell. What's that? Waiting in the queue of a cash machine. Uh, right. Now, well, now look, here's one for you, right? Have you ever been in a situation where there's two cash machines? But there's only one queue. Yes. Now, what do you do? I stand in next to the one that hasn't got a queue. Well, what if the queue? What if the queue's in the middle? Well, then I'll just say I'll just stand in the queue. So, so if it's like a, a kind of first come first serve. Yeah, but I wouldn't know that until I stand in the queue. All right. So you stand in the queue, yeah, and then, and then some guy just walks along and just stands <laughs> in there. And I think, well, it's my own fault. It's annoying, but it's my own fault. <laughs> I think well, and if no one else says anything, so well, he, I think well, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm not going to overstep the, the boundary. Yeah, no, no. What law has he broken? Well, this it. You there know? is no law. There should be, Mike. Yeah. But what I don't like is but there isn't. Standing, and it's not even a queue. You're standing behind a person who is at the cash machine. Okay. That's the most annoying thing about it. I'm almost there. Yeah, and, and then, then what, it's just that waiting inside, that annoys you. Waiting there, and. I don't want to sound chauvinistic, but it tends to be women in this situation. <laughs> right? Um, okay. Putting a cash card in to check the balance. Yeah. The machine will say, do you require any further services? No. Take out the card. Yeah. Oh, I want a statement. Let me put it back in. And then <sighs> do that. And then I have to go do you want? Whole... Do you want any cash with this other transaction? No. Take it out. Wants cash. I see. Takes so out they, the they, statement, they... reads it, despite <laughs> the fact she just looked at the balance on the screen and then... <laughs> <laughs> they decided that and the situation had changed and they decided I'm not going to take money out of this account at all I'm going to just um, <laughs> check my balance in this and then walk away Wait, oh, yeah. well, and the worst part is 
even if you are waiting behind that person before you got to the cash machine yeah. there's someone in front of them who takes equally long they yeah. move out of the way yeah. that woman gets to the cash machine then decides that Do she's going to yeah and yeah. looking her bag to see if she's got her card in the first well, place well it could be worse have you ever been trapped behind someone who wants to check about six accounts at one time yeah I usually walk down the road <laughs> I, I walk on back. This will never end. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk off. Uh, I walk down the road. I'm the winner. In a huff. Yeah. In a huff. Make sure they know you're in a huff, yeah. Mike. Just make, make a huffing noise as you do. That's it. <laughs> and, and <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, sometimes I do say, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> so you just know? loud enough for them to hear, but yeah. not, not loud enough so they can actually yeah. say anything back. That yeah. kind of level of, of loudness. Yeah, you oh, know. Bloody hell. Yeah. Yeah. Could be talking about anything. Anything. Ah. Yeah. Life. No. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot! Oh, yeah. Not yeah. you, mate. Someone else. Yeah. You don't know. Oh, yeah. It could be anyone. Yeah. I don't remember. Wait, well, isn't it? It's you. <laughs> 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 and you know it. Yeah, that's it. As long as you know, I'm happy. Yeah, well, I'm not actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, you won a small, a small victory there, Mike. Well, yeah. exactly, exactly. So the it makes queuing, the day a little queuing sweet, is yeah. an annoying one. 